with the Supreme Beast Boxer Talk. It's your boy Cadillac Red. I'm here today to talk to you guys about uh about these guys right here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? 135 division. Fortnite for duty style. Shout out to the general, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so uh so we'll we'll start from halfway the beginning, uh, with the hype job. Believe me right here. Mama. Mama stank out, you know what I'm saying? White Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Um he was uh, noted to be the best in the division. Uh, I say it was a hype job, but, you know, some people like to beg to differ. Uh, he does have skills. Don't want to sound like I'm disrespecting his skills. He is nice with it. Um, he did a snake move and avoided the, uh, the champ, uh, Devin Haney. And uh, he avoided him. And decided to backdoor and fight Luke for the WBC belt. Now, when he did that, it was all good. Um, he won the WBC. Dev was the mandatory. They didn't want to fight Dev. Dev's too dangerous, and that's gonna be the the whole thing throughout this whole this whole campaign. You know what I'm saying? This whole little video is Dev being too damn dangerous, man. Um. Dev was too dangerous at the time. Loma, Lomachenko, they didn't, and, and team, didn't want to fight him. So they decided to activate and, and uh, place a bid for the franchise title, which basically means they paid a whole bunch of money to the WBC to get a franchise title since Canelo did it. That way he can avoid Devin Haney and they don't have to worry about that type of smoke. So, uh, it winds up working WBC grants it for him. Uh, and then it gets real funny because they say, we didn't request for this. The WBC just gave it to us. And we already know the heads at ESPN say, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We asked for this. We happy. This is a great day for us. So um, Lomachenko becomes franchise title holder. Dev gets granted the belt. Um, after that. He fought, uh, well, hold on. Uh, I back that up real quick. When he fought Luke, Luke should have been out the picture. But we're going to just give him one strike for this. I don't know how. I don't know how he got back in. But I guess it's just one strike. Okay, okay. So, um, Roma places himself as the pound for pound guy uh, with with the win uh, against Luke Campbell and Get, becoming the champ, he does place himself in a nice pound for pound, yeah, at least in the talks, not not number one, but in the talks. Uh, okay, so then we have uh, Tio, as you can see up top, you know what I'm saying, with all the belts. Now, now Tio's uh, rise to to fame has been, you know what I'm saying, he had the toughest road, if you ask me personally, um, not the most avoided, like, like Jesus, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the best one out of everybody in this picture but we'll, we'll get back to that so so Tio Tio uh Tio has the tough uh tough route the Honduran route uh through through top rank um he winds up having to fight Richard Comey and then Nakatani then takes a pay cut for Lomachenko um those three fights in itself are pretty tough I guarantee uh a lot of fighters don't want to go through that type of gauntlet it's only one fighter on the board that I can see that'll go through that type of gauntlet and do just as good, if not better, uh, more rounds, rounds one, and that's going to be the WBC champ. You know what I'm saying? Black Jesus. Okay, so, so, um, <clears throat> but yeah, so, uh, yeah, Loma, Loma does, I mean, not Loma, Loma winds up fighting T.O., uh, and fight goes the distance. Uh, T.O. does not knock Loma out in devastating fashion. With Loma saying that he has a shoulder injury. So you couldn't knock him out with a shoulder injury. But you talked about. We'll, we'll get into that. Um, uh, <clears throat> talking about Gamboa and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. But um, so. So. Till winds up winning. Becomes uh, unified at 135. Tries to run off with undisputed claims. Has a replica WBC belt made. <laughs> ready to go for his victory. Uh, I think that is the most hilarious thing I've ever seen in my life. A uh, boxer with a replica belt. Um, but yeah, he skates off. 
turns into, you know what I'm saying, one of the one of the superstars at one thirty five. Uh we also have uh we have this guy. This guy right here, Ryan. You know what I'm saying? King Ryan and shit. Okay, so King Ryan. King Ryan has had fights with guys moving up in weight, uh, with names, not really any cachet of my opinion, but they do have names, uh, nonetheless. Uh, but he does look, he, he seems to be pretty fast with it. Uh, he handled those, those obstacles pretty easily, uh, with, uh, I guess it counts as something with a nice following through YouTube or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Instagram, you know what I'm saying? He does have a nice following. A lot of people know who he is. So with that, uh, coupled with that, he, he has been able to skate away from fights and that leads us to the fight that happened over the weekend. Um, him versus Luke Campbell. Now, like I said, Luke Campbell got one strike. I don't even know. It's supposed to be, you're supposed to be out of it. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be like, you're supposed to be like Loma. You know what I'm saying? Before T.O. fought him, he beat him. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to look like this. I don't understand how he's looking like this. This is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Fights Ryan Garcia. You know what I'm saying? Now, Luke Campbell is a dog. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? He is a dog, but he's not good. Uh, he's just, he's just going to bring dog out you. Uh, sure enough, hits Ryan with a nice shot. Floors Ryan. And, uh, I want to say, I believe the second round. Um, yeah. Luke looked like he came ready to fight. I, I do believe that over in the fight over the weekend. I, I can't say that, uh, he didn't. He looked pretty game. Um, Ryan. Oh, man. Ryan looks nice. But in this fight, I think he got exposed a little bit too much. And we saw a whole lot of flaws in the game. And it's understandable why he will avoid the WBC champ. You know what I'm saying? Devin Haney. You know what I'm saying? Because <clears throat> in the fight with Luke, um, the foot movement is trash. Very flat-footed. Uh, hand speed, like I said, is definitely there. Head movement. That's that's not good. Uh, I, I don't know. I just see a lot of lapses in defense that's going to wind up hurting you, uh, in my personal opinion. So I think that exposed a lot. Uh, but nonetheless, it was a good fight. They say People say that you show grit. Uh, in my personal opinion, I do not see the grit. Um, you weren't supposed to be in that situation with a Luke Campbell anyway to be getting dropped. You, that makes you look suspect in my eyes. If any other guy up here other than uh, uh, Loma, because Loma out of the picture already. But any other guy without an ex, you know what I'm saying, fights, motherfucking, and they get dropped by Luke Campbell, you'll never hit the end of it. So we're not going to let you slide with that, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I'm not letting that shit ride. I just can't do it. It's, it no, you should not have been in that situation with Luke Campbell. You were supposed to get rid of him easy, decisively. It should not have been a question. None, not... Even if he went around, it's not supposed to be a 10-8 round. Come on, man. Getting floored by Luke is just not where it's at. Okay, so, uh, but you did, you you did nonetheless get up, uh, shake it off, get right back to it. No doubt, you know what I'm saying? No doubt. You It, it, most, it looked like more like a flash knockdown than you really being hurt, so I can't give you that. Uh, but yeah, uh, nonetheless, good fight, good fight. Uh, so now, yeah, Luke, Luke's all the way off the picture. You know what I'm saying? So, now it's just these four, you know what I'm saying? But, oh yeah, let, let's talk about Tank. You know what I'm saying? My bad. Let's talk about the star. Tank is a star, you know what I'm saying? Let's talk about the star, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Tank has had the easiest route. Uh, and halfway, he, he's halfway been avoided too, I can't lie. Uh, but campaigning at 130 and 135 is kind of iffy because you get to fight the uh, the smaller guys when you want and, and, and avoid competition. Um, but nonetheless, uh, knockout artist, <laughs> definitely, uh, devastating power and he ain't to be fucked with. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm not going to even try to talk shit about him. He is not to be fucked with. You know what I'm saying? Take a knock your ass, move, clean the fuck out. You seen how he killed Leo Santa Cruz. They want to say that might be the knockout of the year. So you got to respect the man power, man. You know what I'm saying? In the least, you got to respect his power. Um. I think out of all of the guys up here, he is probably the second best. Um, and so I got to I gotta say that as well. But yeah, man, these guys, 
it, it, it looks kind of thick. Um, with, with Tank, they say he's going to fight Ryan. I think he knocks Ryan smooth clean the fuck out. Um, I don't think Ryan felt any power like that. Uh, Ryan may be able to hurt Tank, though. I can't lie. I can't lie. Um, and Dev and Teal, man, they need to stop bullshitting and, and let's get this undisputed shit cracking, in my personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Ryan is the, the mandatory for Dev, but he wants the Tank fight. Tank said he wants that fight. Well, he's been kind of quiet lately, but it sounds like he wants the, uh, the Ryan fight. So, yeah, man, we get those two. We get those two together. We, we can get Dev and Teal, hopefully. You know what I'm saying? They stop bullshitting. No, 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 uh, Australian fight from T.O. that we don't even know of, you know what I'm saying, from a guy that we don't even know, I'm trying to run to mandatories real quick, and hopefully Dev, we can get some out of Dev, you know what I'm saying, and yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying, and then like I said, last but not least, is Dev, you know what I'm saying, De Devin Haney, now to me, Devin Haney has the goods, you know what I'm saying, I've seen, I've seen more than enough to say, yeah, Devin Haney does have the goods. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect to any of the other fighters. Um, and I know his resume doesn't show it. That's the only negative against Dev. But his resume doesn't show it because the top guys avoid him. He had, he worked himself in a position to a fight with Lomachenko for Lomachenko to avoid him. He's, uh, he is the mandatory for Ryan. But Ryan's going to avoid him. And go fight Tank. He can go undisputed. With, with T.O. T.O.'s one belt away from undisputed. The WBC already said. That the reason he ain't got the, the franchise belt in this picture. Is because the WBC already said that. You know what I'm saying? Haney's the champ. You got to fight him. Bitch you ain't Mexican. You know what I'm saying? So. Well, I mean, you know, that's the fight to make. But he won't make it. Being avoided like that. Hold on. Tank and Devin. Uh, Floyd's clearly came out and said, if if it's between Tank and Devin, Tank fight at 130. You know what I'm saying? That's what Floyd say. They're not going to set that fight up. I already know. You know what I'm saying? Tank's avoiding Devin. They're going to avoid that. They don't want no, no smoke with that. So, I mean, when you the most avoided, it makes me, I see you nice in the ring, you got the goods in the ring, and they avoiding you. I mean, you know, it's some shit that they know behind the scenes that I don't know. You know what I'm saying? The powers that be, man, shit. Uh, another knock, though, against Devin is being with Eddie the Germ Hearn. You know what I'm saying? Luke Campbell just got beat over the weekend, and Ryan, uh, Ryan Garcia is getting all this cachet. That could have been Devin Haney. That's supposed to be Devin's fight. But you don't make that. You don't make that in-house matchroom fight. You could have talked Devin into going to the UK and getting some UK fans. But you gave it to Ryan. Shit I'm talking about, man. You know what I'm saying? You, you putting, you, if you partner with the guy, you, you putting him in bad positions, man. You let him talk about him all crazy all over the, all over the broadcast, man. That shit is disgusting, man. They, 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 they promote Tank more than they promote Dev. C come on, man. Eddie, man, what are you doing, man? That shit's nasty. You got to get that shit together. Because that's the problem. Right there in itself. For real. Now, we can cut to what I think is going to happen in the division and what I would like to see. I would like to see, go ahead, let, let Ryan fight Tank. Fuck it. Let Tank fight Ryan. Fuck it. One of them will get rid of each other. I'm, I think Tank, you know what I'm saying? Ryan, Ryan, will be, Ryan will be X'd out. You know what I'm saying? X him out. You know what I'm saying? Then, then you have, uh, then you have Tio and Dev. Tio and Dev, you know what I'm saying? They, they get it in. I got Devin winning. Devin's the better boxer, clearly. Uh, it will be a dog fight, though. Tio may hurt him. If you ask me personally, I do see T.O. T.O. getting to him, you know what I'm saying? You will get touched up. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? I got I got Dev winning. You know what I'm saying? We can ask him out. Dev will be undisputed. Tank Tank will be right there with, with all the cash. And then Mayweather gonna cancel that shit and say, Y'all got game fucked up. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all got the game fucked up, but that's the that'll be the super mega fight that everybody would want to see. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully by that time we're able to see it, and nobody's moved up to 140 or ran away from smoke or let promoters get in the way of bullshit or under promote you. You know what I'm saying? You never know, man. Hopefully, it, you know that just seems too much like right. So. I don't know. We'll see, man, as it, as it continues, though. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, man, that's just my views on all these guys, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and the future of it, you know what I'm saying? But I do got to give Ryan your respect, man. Hell of a way to start off 2001, man. I mean, 2021, sorry, 2021, you know what I'm saying? Hell of a way to start off, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, on that note, man, Supreme Beast Box of Talk, it's your boy Cadillac like Red, man. Salute to the mighty LDBC, you know what I'm saying? Now about this thing, man. One. <laughs>